Filtering is a primary tool in Message Analyzer for removing noise and zeroing in on important information. It's typed in as an expression, which is evaluated for each message. If the expression is true, the message is displayed. If it is false, the message is hidden. After applying the filter, only the messages that pass the filter remain. You can remove noise by using not equal. Also, you can simply type a field or module and it'll show messages which contain that field or module. In this example, only one message has a field called Z, so it is the only message that passes the filter. Filters take many forms. As in this example, we'll find port 80 traffic. In this next example, we remove traffic and we add a comment. There are different operators like greater than. And as well, there are different types like an IP address on the right side. You can combine multiple expressions with AND and OR. And using the star, you can target many possible fields. You can even do intersections with the collection using the IN operator. In this example, we use IPv4 subnetting modifier, the slash 16, in order to create a collection of IP addresses. Then using the in operator, we look for any module or protocol with a field of address to check if it's part of that collection. Finally, filters are not limited to a single line, which can be helpful in its own way. Now, let's look at the message analyzer filter UI where we'll try some real examples. I've loaded a large network trace and the analysis grid is the current viewer. This is a fairly common place for starting troubleshooting. For most viewers, we add a blank filter at the top. However, this can be closed if you want more real estate. To add the filter again, you can use the add filter button. Realize that for this video, we're going to focus on some standard filters, but there are other types of filters you can add, shown here below in the drop down. You can also add more than one filter, which are and together when they're both applied. Next, let's locate ICMP traffic with a simple filter. We select apply which updates the viewer. You can also use control enter as a keyboard shortcut. If you then edit the filter, the border changes color. This is to let you know that we have a filter applied, but the one showing could be different because you've edited it and not yet applied that new filter. Once you apply the filter, the border disappears again. If you type an invalid filter, the border turns red. Selecting undo or control Z is also supported by the filtering window. Any viewer can be filtered. Opening a top user's bar chart using new viewer chart, top talkers, you can see that it contains a filter by default but we can modify or replace the filter, like in this case to show UDP traffic. Now let's open a grouping viewer. In this particular case, I've opened one that shows process name, process ID, network, and transport. And you can see there is no filter window by default. But again, we can add one by clicking Add Filter. Now, let me filter on ICMP. And here, we now see conversations or processes that contain ICMP traffic. This is a very nifty way to get a concise view of traffic based on some filtering criteria. Some would say the trick is knowing what to filter. 
and there's no doubt that experience and domain knowledge is an important factor in understanding which filters are helpful. However, we do have a few features that help you create filters. The first helpful tool is IntelliSense. When you start typing, a list of options is generated for you. Selecting a candidate and hovering over gives you some idea of the scope of the field. Using starport, for instance, is more expensive than explicitly typing tcp.port because there are multiple possible fields that match the port. The longer the list, the more expensive the filter. However, for smaller sets of data like this, it's not a big issue. Within the filter bar, there's a library button, which contains helpful built-in filters. Using the search field at the top lets you narrow down the list. Contains is a filter which lets you search for arbitrary things without necessarily knowing the field it's in. For instance, this example searches all network payloads for the word Microsoft. RegX is a type of filtering you can perform with Message Analyzer based off of regular expressions and some examples are provided to start you off. You can add your personal favorites to the list using new filter and even share assets with your colleagues using manage filters. By selecting one or more filters and selecting export, you can save a file which you can share with other users, which you can then import using the same inf interface. Finally, history contains all the filters you've used before which is convenient for recalling filters you've used in the past, even from other sessions. You can also build filters based on the data you see in the UI. From the analysis grid, you can select any element in the grid, right click it, and add as filter. Adding filter expressions in this manner will OR with the current expression. Same goes for the details window. If I select a message and then right select a field in the details window, I can add it as filter as well. Filtering is a very powerful tool and Message Analyzer provides different ways to get you started so that you can reduce that unwieldy set of data into something more manageable. Bye till next time.